Ooh, double your vocabulary, bro. We gave 10 people the hemiola and you won't believe what happened. Only 2.3% of people can play this lick. Okay, I get that this sounds clickbaity, but I promise you I'm gonna make good on it. Like, say you've got five go-to recipes for the week, and I show you a way to get two recipes out of each existing recipe, just with a simple pivot. That's the sense in which the title of this video is true. I'm gonna show you a simple pivot to get twice the mileage out of your existing vocabulary. Plus, I'll show you a few hot licks I'm working on. All that plus the story of the video you're not seeing this week, because I had to toss it in the garbage. Next. Stay tuned. So I bit off a bit of a big chunk yesterday. F we covered that already. We covered that already. I'm in the middle of creating my new solo course. And yesterday I thought I'd try to take you stream of consciousness through the way I try to chain together a string of different licks and use that to improvise what I call a sprint run in a solo. Try it one more time. That proved near impossible for two reasons. First, it was difficult to keep enough of what I was practicing in my head long enough to explain it. Do what? Do I already have a Jesus? Not now. Next, figuring out a system for you guys to chain those fragments together without leaning on a ton of trust your instincts was a high mountain to climb. Like, here I am trying to isolate just one lick and devolving into total frustration. Um, I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end this for today. I'm showing this to you partly so you know what I go through to bring you lessons sometimes. And make no mistake, I'm gonna find another way to tackle this topic and bring it to you eventually. But also because I spent a whole afternoon shooting and it'd be a shame for it to go totally to waste. However, there is something useful I can extract from the whole exercise. It's a term I used first that I had this thing called hemiola, which a rogue YouTuber named Garrett Miller completely stole. So you have hemiola. Make no mistake, folks, I thought of it first. I did me. I mean, come on, Garrett, quit copying me. Damn. Quick aside for anyone who doesn't get the joke, I'm a fan of Garrett's, I'm just talking trash. Anyway, it's hemiola. 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 And it lets you create phrases like this. And this. And this. Let's get into it. Here's the first lick. One, two, three. That's all well and good, right? Like, we can always orchestrate. Vary a little bit. Etc. We can play it as a fill. By the way, I'm thinking basic backbeat here. Three, four. But that gets boring. What happens if we hemiolize this lick? I'll play it once regularly and once hemiolized. Three, four. So what's going on here? Let's turn to another YouTube channel, Music Matters, for the definition of a hemiola. Well, normally, three, four, three crotchet beats at a bar, I'd be happily chugging along, uh, going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three beats in every bar. The hemiola trick is this. Actually, if I count it in three, it's going one, 
two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So you see how it works? I'm still counting three beats, but I've got this two, 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 two arrangement. Quick aside, who would take music lessons with this guy just for his British Mr. Rogers charm? I watched this video three times, and I know what hemiola means already. But let me make it even clearer and use slightly more modern language. Hemiola is a little easier when you speed up the tempo and give yourself a frame of reference. Like, let's say we're playing a backbeat shuffle, like the everybody wants to rule the world beat. Here's what a hemiola would sound like over that. But wait, you're probably saying, isn't that just a quarter note triplet? Kind of. If your ground pulse is triplets, then yes. So the hemiola of an eighth note triplet would be a quarter note triplet. But if you're thinking in eighth notes, like 6-8, like the everybody wants to rule the world beat, it's just having the pulse of the three beat group and then superimposing that over the whole bar. Or, okay, but what does that have to do with the hi-hat shit you were showing us earlier? Glad you asked. If we take the British guy's original waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And play my hi-hat lick over it as we count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. The analogy of playing the half time three over the regular time three would be this. One, two, three, 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 one. But you see how this doubles what we can do with this lick? You see all the stuff we can do with the original. But now we can get something completely different out of it. But we're still going to salvage two additional licks from that original video that went in the shitter. This is already not going well. And show you how to hemiolize them. Here's the second lick. One, two, three, one, two. It's kind of a Bonham thing. So, how do we hemiolize it? Remember, the concept of hemiola is taking a three note group and superimposing a half time overlay. For our lick, if we're going to play one, two, three, one, two, three. We need to turn that into a four beat phrase so that instead of going one, two, three, one, two, three. We get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Three times four is twelve. Four times three is also twelve. So three beat version, one, two, three, one, two, three. Four beat version. Here it is in context. Finally, our final lick. Here's the last lick from yesterday's ill-fated video. One, two, three, one, two. You play it a little bit slower. One, two, three, one, two. And remember, to make it a hemiola, we need to make the three beat phrase a four beat phrase that's going to cycle three times over the original pulse. So, three beat version, one, two, three, one, two, three. Potential four beat version. Let's 
Let's alternate this with the Everybody Wants to Rule the World beat. And just like the original, we can orchestrate and come up with variations. Etc. See that? Have I led you astray? Did I not deliver exactly what was promised in the title? Did I not give you a pivot that, just like being able to make all your steak recipes with fish, doubled the utility of your existing vocabulary? Presuming you can use it, of course. Look, if you've made it this far, I want to give you something nice. And I'm not talking about the bribe to subscribe to my mailing list. That's later on. Here's an excerpt of Chris Dave playing the happy people beat with Kenny Garrett. Does that make you happy? It makes me happy. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this lesson, you'll probably enjoy my coaching course, my practice course, and my brand new soon to debut solo course. All of which go into the material in this lesson in far more depth and actually do graph this crazy system I was trying to create in the previous lesson onto the whole system, but I've got three or four modules and a couple hours worth of time to do it. And the thing about those courses is they're around three to six months of study as if you're studying with me, for between the price of a single lesson and two lessons. But we only open them a few times a year, and we only open them to people on my mailing list. And this is God's honest truth. You can check me on that CoffeeZilla. I use custom audiences for the Facebook ads, so literally if you're not on my mailing list, you will not see this offer. If you'd like to get on my mailing list because you're interested in enrolling in those courses, or just because you're interested in the bribe I'm about to give you, or maybe just because you want to hear from me, bribe to follow. If you click on the link below the video player, enter your email address in on the next page, I'll send you three mini courses in the next three weeks, which will improve your playing, I assert, more in those ensuing three weeks than it's improved in the previous six months. That's three video mini courses in three weeks, just to bribe you to subscribe to my mailing list, which of course you should do anyway. Dudes, had an extra amount of fun with this because it's not yesterday's lesson. I really enjoyed it. See you again next week in another Lesson of the Week. Let us speaking. Let's make the vlogger fun. What do you say? Let's make the vlogger fun. Oh, we have the vlogger speaking. Yeah. Hey, we got it all. Got it all on the overhand. <laughs>